everyone, it's Cage from Craft with Kay. How are we all doing? This is going to be a quieter than usual weapon chat because I'm on my own. Pickle is in preschool for another hour or so, Captain Bimble is out, and yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just me. Now, I have been having a bit of a flare up this week because I majorly over <laughs> overdid it on Sunday. So Sunday was the um, uh, summer fate, the school summer fate, which is run by the PTA, and yeah, I got ended up getting roped in for face painting. The person uh, that we had booked for, um, they had to cancel. No idea why. Um, and they were desperately looking for someone. I was like, well, I've, I've only ever done my own Halloween makeup, but if we can't get anyone in. Fine, let's do it. Um, so yeah, I ended up helping out with that. And it was a lot of fun. I was super nervous. Um, but yeah, I did it for almost two and a half hours. I was only supposed to do it for two hours, but things got hectic as they do and stuff. And sat out in the sun for way too long, so I'm quite sunburnt on my shoulders. Um, <laughs> which is making things a lot of fun. Not. Um, and yeah, I've just been, since then, I've been struggling with my arms, um, because where for like the whole day I was like having my arm bent, doing face paints and stuff like that. So I just think I overdid it way too much. Um, the kids had a lot of fun. I know on the face painting stand alone, we raised, um, I think about £200. And overall, I can't remember the figure. I'll, I'll write it up on the screen if I remember to. Um, but we made a lot of money on the summer fate, which all the money goes back into the school. So I know we're looking at fixing up some of the playground equipment, um, looking at getting some shade out in the playground and stuff. And So it all gets invested back into the school or and on school trips. Uh, we'll the PTA will supply like treats and stuff for the coach rides and all sorts of things like that. So it all goes back into it. And I believe we basically made, I think it was something like £300 more, £300 or, it's either 300 or £600 more than the previous summer fate, which is just amazing. Um, and it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we got some ponies down, uh, there was a tortoise, a snake and a tarantula or something. Then there was also all your typical sort of games, there's bouncy castles, ice cream vans and yeah, it was a, it was a lot of fun. Oh, one second guys. Sorry about that. Phone call. <laughs> of course I get a phone call, I'm recording a video. Um, but yeah, either way, it was a lot of fun. If I can, I'll chuck a, I'll chuck a photo, one of my favourite photos I took of uh, Pickle. Because what happened is I helped set up and then ran the stall for a couple of hours. Then Captain Bimble brought Pickle up and um, we did a switch over. So I was then in charge of Pickle and he helped man one of the bouncy castles. And yeah, but she, ha she had a good time. She was chilling. Um, giggling away to herself and stuff. She didn't get out to have a look at anything, but she just enjoyed having a look at stuff and yeah. But yeah, that that was just the busiest bit. We also went up on the Saturday to the field because uh, just to help set up for a couple of hours to make it a bit easier on the day. Um, Pickle loved having that whole field to herself. Near enough, uh, she she just ran around it like a lunatic. <laughs> so that was really nice. Um, but I'll probably do it in a minute. Actually, let's do it now. So a couple of weeks back, I believe it was Diamond Paint and Claire put the challenge out about using tweezers. And then I had a week off, and then I didn't forgot to do it last week, so I'm going to do it now. That's using tweezers to place drills down. So why not? Um... Yes. 
I see what to talk about. Nothing else has been going on too much this week. It's just like at the moment each week I've got a meeting to go to about one thing or another and it's all to help pickle. So um I got the email saying the her, that her EHCP has now been sent off. So I'm just gonna wait back to hear from the council about all that. Pretty sure it's the council or something. Uh, for those that don't know, an EHCP is an educational healthcare plan. Um, and it will just follow her throughout her whole education. Basically so that her teachers and her school know that, you know, she needs extra support. Where does she need the extra support in? This, that and the other. So it's just basically to help. So yeah, so that's in the works. So hopefully we hear back... Uh, for too long um got another meeting next week and that one will be with whoever her new teacher is uh so that will be between her new teacher her current teacher and the sen teacher of the school and that will be basically just to introduce well, a so we get to meet the new teacher as well anyway um and we can work together and find ways to make the transition uh, from preschool to reception nice and smoothly. You know, what's going to happen, you know, um, Kira's likes and dislikes, her triggers, um, and also about the teacher and get to know her and how she runs a class and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to that. Let's do this one next. Um... Yes. I've stuck to this uh, painting as well because I was on only by the time I finished the last row I only had like this much left I was like you know so let's just stick with this so this is a wolfish friend from Dainty Diamond Art um, so yeah this will be finished today or tomorrow and then I can put a review E, and I can go back to the dragon do it a chunk of that and then I'll start the motorbike boom boom so that'll be good Let's see the only other thing I'll be nervous to mention um was I was having a little bit of therapy so it was just over the phone therapy for you uh type thing and that went okay we finished up now because um, I need to see someone who specialises in the areas that I need. The person I was speaking to mostly dealt with anxiety and depression. Um, apparently I was a little bit depressed, but I'm not so much now, which, you know, that's good. But the other stuff I wanted to focus on, I can't really do that with this person that I was talking to. So we both mutually agreed. I'm the one who brought it up. And he'd been racking his brain to how to help me as well. So I would originally sent there because I don't sleep. And so maybe there's a psychological reason. I don't know. I'm not a professional. I just go wherever I'm told to kind of go. But yeah, I was, I've been doing that the last, I don't know, five, five weeks or so I was doing that. So that's all done now. Maybe in the future I'll look into my mind a little bit more. But for now, I'm just gonna leave my brain where it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was, I was, I'm an iron about mentioning it, but I realised, you know, so I should mention it anyway because mental health is a real thing, you know. People struggle with different things and. It shouldn't be taboo or anything, you know. If you need help, get help. If you need to talk to someone, talk to someone. You know, it's just... Luckily, I feel like in this day and age, it's getting a bit easier to do such things. But that being said, there's such a strain on the whole system. So, I don't know. Let's see, can I pick up two at a time? I'm going to switch my tray around. 
Nope. Nope, they just mushed together. Okay. One at a time it is then. Gotta love my murder tweezers. For those of you that are new to my channel, I call these sort of tweezers murder tweezers because they are sharp. And very good at stabbing. So when I'm not using them, sheath goes on. A, because I will stab myself. B, I don't want Pickle to accidentally pick these up and then stab herself. Or stab me. <laughs> Bless her. She's doing great though, she loves being in preschool at the moment, so I'm hoping... Oh, I'm not looking forward to the summer holidays. So that's what, like six weeks or something of no preschool? So we're going to have to figure out ways to wear her out. So I'll probably take her to Cockley Woods. I might try and take her swimming. She used to go to a swimming club when she was little. But then um, 2020 happened and we stopped and then we never went back. So might see how she reacts. She used to love going swimming. Uh, so I might see how she reacts to the idea of being back in a swimming pool. Or, you know, like the kiddie pool. Um, she's going to have a great day anyway because it means she gets to go on a bus again. She loves the bus. And in South Bend, there is a sea life centre. It's not a huge sea life place or anything, but it might be fun to see what she makes of it all. So take it to lay it. So, yes. Probably at some point during the summer holidays, I need to talk to uh, Cindy. Because she lives about an hour and a half away from me by train. It really isn't that far, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, going to try and go to Clacton. Clacton on sea. And see how Pickle does with travelling a little bit further. Because we typically don't travel very far. We don't go to many places. We don't drive and we don't typically go outside much, so. <laughs> but I want to wear her out over the summer. So I think that's what's kind of linked to her waking up at silly o'clock sometimes, is she's just not tiring herself out. She's really good about going to bed and falling asleep. Well, I say falling asleep. Sometimes she could be in her bed for like an hour before she goes to sleep, but she is very good about bedtime. Like if we say, go in bed. She knows that, okay, I've got to stop doing what I'm doing. Um, right, let's go get my dodo. Cause it's the only time she has her dummy is when she goes to bed. And yeah, she goes collects that with uh, from the kitchen. And then we... And then she drags our, grabs our hand and drags us to the bedroom. And then I'd pop her in the bed. Captain Bimble tucks her in and then he reads her a story. And then we finally have the TV to ourselves. Yay! Typically, once she's in bed, we was watching Kenobi, but that's finished now. Um, if it's a Friday, we'll watch The Boys. Has anyone else been watching The Boys? It's brilliant. <laughs> oh, I love that show. It's just so dark. I love it. Um, so tonight, today is Wednesday, so once she's in bed, we'll be watching the new episode of Miss Marvel. I'm quite enjoying it, to be honest. Don't know about anyone else, but I'm enjoying it. Um, and we have recently started to rewatch uh, Teen Wolf. That's the one that came out a number of years ago. Uh, the one with um, Tyler Pro Tyler Posey, uh, Dylan O'Brien, Taylor Hoochin. I think that's how you say his name. Guy who plays Derek. He's all right. <laughs> So now we'll start re-watching that because we're going to watch the movie when that, whenever that comes out. We're going to watch the Teen Wolf movie. So we thought, let's restart the series. It's pretty good. Although I forget how che cheesy some lines are or how like 
see like how like the writing is for like teenagers where their problems really are just so stupid but to the, the teenager it's like the whole world thing and it did make me giggle watching it back because it's been it's been a little while since i've rewatched the series so i'm enjoying that I'm trying to keep up with uh watching youtube I follow a whole bunch of other people now um so it's hard keeping on top of everything sometimes um yeah and so this why i'm not haven't got like a because of my flare up i've not done a time lapse of the miniature honestly this may very well apart from a post review this is probably going to be like the only video that's up this week because this is making my shoulder quite sore as well but hey i've been doing it can't say i haven't done it i've been doing it um yeah so i'm trying to take it easy this week which is easier said than done when you've got a three-year-old who's going to be oh my god four in a few months i can't believe that and she's high energy sometimes so it's hard to take it easy so but i'm trying to be a bit kinder to myself to my joints and stuff so yeah but uh yeah as per usual it's not a long whipping chat i don't do long whipping chats um generally speaking i don't it's not often i'll prepare something i'll just hop on whenever it feels convenient to do it usually is spare of the moment of okay let's record shit what the fuck am i gonna say um oh yeah uh, my channel is not for kids which is why it's listed as not for kids because i do swear because well yeah i'm human i swear <laughs> um right claire might tell me off for that but i'm sorry but i'll do it again <laughs> yeah tweezers aren't bad but i, pref I do prefer my pen because mostly as well i'm having to where with a pen you can kind of press down to get the squares and the slots where they're already surrounded i'm having to push down on the top of the drill but yeah yeah i'll probably leave this here i'll do this as my next symbol when uh I, when I'm off <laughs> you know who that's for <laughs> and um, yeah I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video bye guys bye